the human domain and, and the conference. And notice it's the same. They call it Mastering the Human Domain, and that's the name of these programs. So we were just right. searching what they meant by that. This, they admit, is for domestic activity. So we got them. It is domestic. And it totally is. when you look at these conferences. Boom, we have them. Alex, when you look at these conferences, when you look at the history, they tie it intimately in with law enforcement. So you guys this went back and looked at what is mastering the human domain. And you've got all the Pentagon briefings where they admit it's tracking everything we do. It's for us. Right. These Jewish conferences, they've got James Clapper, the NSA, the Homeland Security of their U.S. Geological Service. Mm -hmm. This is domestic. It is melded with law enforcement. It's the Rural Civilian Affairs military. Committee. It's, as much, yeah, it's yeah. as much intel operation as it is a military operation. That's what I'm saying. This is to test the locals. This is for the rollout. Yeah. And the, what, what they're doing is using Facebook. Facebook, Twitter, anything you put out online, they're using that, collecting that data and going, well, this is out of the ordinary. We got to go to investigate. And see, we're going to force a debate about this Manhattan exactly. project happening beneath the surface. They don't want us and to unveil huge. it before it's ready. Yes. yes. It, it, it's ridiculously big. When we come back, we got some more clips. It's just going to blow yeah, your mind. Yeah, so what do we call this special point. report? Uh, confirmed Jade Helm uh, is for domestic operations against American people, at least in part. Oh, yeah. I mean, we have them. It's, it's about mastering America. Um, RT reports climate change is a UN led hoax to create new world order. That's the Australian Prime Minister and his advisors. I mean, it's just all coming out. The dam's breaking. Yeah. And so the globalists are scrambling, hoping they can train our military to take us on. Here's what's happening We're going to do 30 minutes of overdrive today. Some stations carry the fourth hour. Years ago, I did the fourth hour live. A lot of stations don't. Infowars.com forward slash show. I'm going to go to five after, but we're just going to continue with these guys. Because Dew wanted to get some of the clips off and get ready, and it was about 10 minutes late. So they're going to do a whole presentation on this coming up. But he's got clip after clip from these dominating the human uh, environment analytics, and that's the Jade Helm logo. And then we find the same players. This is for America. And it's for the globe as well, but it's for mapping everything, taking over local towns, knowing which towns are ready to do it, who isn't. Uh, it's for civil war. Uh, and, uh, again, it has dual use as well. Any training does, but it's confirmed. This is a big deal. Jade Helm confirmed uh, for domestic operations, but it's not the takeover. They're misrepresenting. And, again, they use this as a war game now mm -hmm. to see if they can lie to people. Yes. I think um, the whole thing's a psyop. Like, we're yes. in the midst yeah, we're of now right playing now. We're already in, in a role with yeah. it. Unfortunately, yeah. But by putting it out there, letting people know about it, they're seeing the reaction. And David's got a ton to cover. I'll be out yeah. of here soon. He'll get to all of it. But but get to the next clip. What do you all have right. to do? Yeah. So they had this 2010 Mastering the Human Domain Conference. The next year, the open of the 2011 kind of shows everything that they've been talking about and that they've been working on for a year so I want to play that, and then we'll go back and show the other clips that kind of, it's like watching paint dry, but we'll get to it. It's this easy. is a who's who, the FEMA right. head, the Clapper, NSA, yep. top generals. It's the military Homeland security complex. As well as the this military. is them coordinating that what Eisenhower warned us of, yep. to, 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 just like a third world country gets taken over by its military, but this is the bureaucracy using it for that. We just want to debate the fact that we're already in the middle of the takeover. Here it is. The threats that we face don't recognize boundaries. Whether those are physical boundaries or organizational boundaries, right. there's no boundaries or agency to you. boundaries. And every time we're inhibited no. in our response to those threats, so that's by Middle our East, own boundaries, obviously, but they're going to start showing we lessened our impact. America. And when we lessen our impact, we lessen our services to those decision makers, and we ultimately affect our national security in a negative way. Consequence to the nation if we don't integrate. And they got the training manual to talk to the veterans and got us. Mm -hmm. And then the TV uh, says we for us. won't uh, deliver the best possible solution set to our mission partners, whether that's the policy and the maker, the make off of or the first responder. This type of warfare today, the, the first the responder, of the military, face require rapid assimilation of information, They're rapid drones. understanding and situation awareness, rapid Remember assimilation. the Homeland Security video that so showed up taking out gun owners in America? Intelligence, it's like yeah. fighting with both hands tied behind your back. Oh, don't tie her hands. It's, it's uncertain. And they put all these Obamanoids in now? It's delayed the birds, decisions. Yeah. It's the people that didn't go along with it. It's a bunch of social workers now with general so the outfits. Way Look. You are most likely the U.S. Yeah, to go into the U.S. The content, the substance, the early warning, the value of information. Hey, remember the ad in Pennsylvania to pay your taxes? Was just like same, that. same thing. Yeah, that you understand. Well, they have Lockheed ads now where it shows them scanning U.S. cities. Lockheed helped make this. The question, you understand the needs, potential threats, and you're putting that hey, information together in a but way. But notice the sum that it wasn't all this that stopped those guys up in Dallas, in right. Garland. It was the one guy with a gun. 
he used his own humat to say, I bet this is a target. Yeah. So an off-duty cop went and hung out out front. Yeah. I don't know if you noticed that at the end. They, they were showing the different layers. That is what they're building. They're building yeah. different layers of information. Like, this is a friendly area. Right. Give us right a preview outside. of what's coming up in the next 30 minutes. You guys can do a whole hour if you want to. Well, I, we might be able to. We, we got yeah. pretty long. All right, that's it. No, night. I'm committing. Let's do it. Yeah. You're doing a whole hour of overdrive. Info, uh, tweet sure. it out. A whole hour of, info, yeah. of overdrive. Jade Helm confirmed to be domestic. I want you to cover and finish it up in the next five, then restart and do a whole treatise whole yeah. over the next 55 minutes, okay? Right. And let David talk. Well, there's a huge <laughs> aspect of this, Alex, that is also predictive because we're seeing that in law enforcement as well. When they say that the genesis of this came from three different inputs. One of them was the military in Iraq. The other is American law enforcement. And the third one was casinos in Nevada. That's right. It's all human control. We'll be right back. Stay with us in 70 seconds. Alex Jones. So by David Knight and Rob Dew. They're going to do an entire hour now of overdrive. They're going to start over slowly methodically how Jade Helm, we now find out as part of a large Pentagon, cybersecurity, FEMA, Homeland Security, mastering the human domain, uh, Rural Affairs Council over the 10 regions of FEMA. You notice that's run by the Pentagon. This is the accelerated rollout ahead of economic collapse. And they know when one in 10 has autism, when people are all dying of cancer, there's going to be civil unrest. People are going to say no. When nobody has money to prep. And the military is going to come and just take you away because sure. you're a terrorist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, like and, they practiced in Fort Lauderdale just the other day. They were putting people yeah. in white vans and driving them off. But but, but this is confirming because, you know, starting with you about 20 minutes ago through now, will be the first video we put up on YouTube today. This is just the first salvo. Y uh, yes. Jade, uh, you know, d proof. Jade Helm is for domestic takeover. But we need to add the proviso, not the takeover itself. The training for the takeover. It's an exercise yeah. in the takeover is what it is. You were trying to talk for a to break, David. Uh, tell us, preview what's coming up with you in the next hour with uh, Rob Dew. Well, what we need to do, Alex, is we need to break down so that people really understand that this is, they just don't put these words up at random. When they say mastering the human domain, when they talk about it being unconventional warfare, when I talked to the ABC reporter, she had already written a story on uh, Jade Helm. She says, well, it's realistic, but it's unconventional. I said, no, unconventional warfare is a very specific term. It is a psyop uh, first and foremost, uh, but mastering the human domain is a very specific term of art of the Department of Defense. So we're gonna tell people what the human domain is, why is significant about this mapping that we see in it? Of course, that is just the tip of the iceberg. That is a very coarse uh, map that it's like are saying jujitsu is a art form of martial arts or taekwondo. We have these terms. You go look them up. It's giant, huge meetings for domestic takeover. That's on the logo. Fits in with quote blending in, doing things that look illegal. Yes. Uh, I mean, this. That's why they're freaking out so bad. Is this is domestic? We, we gave them the benefit of the doubt. We looked into it. They've been caught lying. It's a giant domestic takeover. This is folding in Drill. the in, in, intel that they're getting from the surveillance state. This is folding it into these military operations. When you look at dragnet surveillance, eventually, if we don't stop this, it is going to come to the point where they drag you out in the middle of the night like we just saw in Fort Lauderdale, just as they've been authorized to That's do. That's what they're going to the do NDAA. when you don't vaccinate or you homeschool. Exactly. They're already doing a low-intensity rounding folks up. It's going to intensify. Well, notice how that family, they put something out on Facebook. It went into the cloud. The cloud analyzed it and said, threat, threat matrix. We got to send somebody out after them. The orders come into the CPS. They go take the kids away. Yeah. That's, how yeah, they, that's how it's going to work. And, and, and I'm about overtly fighting this and saying it's morally wrong, corrupt, and evil. But people can also choose the other route. Use Facebook and Twitter for disinformation. Mm -hmm. And I think yes. it's patriotic duties. It's time. This is very sophisticated, folks. You got to be careful. But it's time to start pumping it with disinfo. Not lies about media events and things, but your own homestead, your own house, what you're doing. I would say use it, but only use it to create a false image. Yeah. There you go. The only way to defeat something like this is to pump it full of disinfo. Yeah. So then there's so much, it overloads the system. Um, I mean, we're going to go through the whole thing. There's another aspect of this uh, from that C-SPAN interview, which I kind of glossed over, and I got, I got called out on it by, why didn't you cover the robot section? There's a whole... Part where the guy talks about they have autonomous robots walking around as soldiers and civilians and Rob, at that asymmetrical Fort AP Hill Center. I think that yeah, just they're training for the robots to come yeah. after us. That's yeah. the headline: AP yeah. Hill training robots to fight. Yeah. I mean, it, it's on. Listen, they're announcing China plans to get rid of within five years ninety percent of its workers. Yeah, with robots. And, and here's the thing: I mean, it's but, on, folks. It's on. They're, I mean, it's their plan. 
God, when they ask him about Jade Helm, I, I, Alex, when they ask him about Jade Helm and he glances off and he goes and he nods and he goes, I don't know anything about that. And now he's got to come up with something yeah. to talk they about. They were doing so that he at goes into his, yeah. he, he kind of unconsciously goes and it's like, oh, well, we've got uh, autonomous got robots. robots. Yeah, so it's around. like, let's, let's change the subject over here to something interesting. That's the thing that's first and foremost on his mind. They did that like a hundred times, Jakari was telling me and Biggs, that to say anything, the lieutenant colonel would look back at the private corporation. They're the ones that give the money to the government to lobby. They're now in control of the military. Mm -hmm. So we're fighting for the future of the military. Hey. Chuck Norris is on our side. You guys are in trouble. We can't lose. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back. The Republic is rising. The Sleeping Giant is rising. Welcome back to Overdrive of the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and joining me now is Rob Dew. We want to give you the broader view. We want to explain to you what they mean by mastering the human domain when they have that on the Jade Helm logo. Let's pull that logo up and take a look at that as we explain this. Now, mastering the human domain is actually a term of art, just like unconventional warfare. Unconventional warfare means something very specific to the Department of Defense, and so does the human domain. When they're talking about that, they're talking about mapping you. You are the humans. Everything that they can find out about you, they're going to map on a geographical map. And I think it's very important that I, one of the reasons this is really picked up and, and caught the public's attention is because of the maps, but they don't understand the full extent of the maps. Now, James Clapper has been speaking at several of these, uh, these uh, what would you call them? They're, they're geo-int. Uh, Psychopath conference? Yeah, they're conferences. <laughs> this is a trade organization that has grown up in this and within the military Making industrial complex. Of of exactly. It's, it's become a large part of the, of this, uh, the military industrial complex, and he's been the keynote speaker at several of these, and this is what he had to say. He says, activity-based intel, human domain analytics are arrows that will form the intellectual underpinning for how we conduct intelligence in the future. You have to understand that Jade Helm is as much an intel operation as it is a military operation. And when they use the military and they say, just salute the uniform, don't pay any attention to what's going on, they're using the military uniform to distract you. They're using it as a red herring so that you don't pay attention to what's going on with this. And of course, James Clapper was the guy who famously uh, was asked by Ron Wyden if they were doing any dragnet uh, surveillance, and he put his head down, he hit his eyes because he couldn't make direct eye contact, and he said, uh, no, uh, we're not doing that. We saw that he was with the slides that were released from Ed Snowden. It's now common knowledge that he was lying. Of course, Michael Hayden, who was head of the NSA at, this, at the time, has subsequently spoken out at a uh, Washington and Lee University conference to law students. He says, I blame Ron Wyden. He knew that we were doing dragnet surveillance. The staff, every one of the staff, of every one of those senators on the uh, Senate Intelligence Committee knew we were doing dragnet surveillance. And he asked that question of James Clapper, knowing that he couldn't answer it knowing that he would lie. So he yeah. put him into the position where he would lie. So I want to ask you just how much credibility people who have worked for the CIA and others really have on this. So uh, I want to define, before we go to some of these clips that show what this is about, I want to define for you what the human domain is. Okay, there's four data categories in here. One of them is who you are, what you do, who you know, context, okay? Who you are, this is uh, analysts collecting information about your name, your address, your gender, your biometrics, your Facebook page. This is what we've been talking about all for a very tweets, long time. Everything. This is where this is all coming together. Your this YouTube is domestic, videos. exactly. It's domestic, it is uh, police-based, it is intel-based, it's NSA, Homeland Security, attending these conferences, and it's also the military. Next thing, what you do. Collected information will include your travel your communications, your financial transactions. They want to see all the money that you spend. That's why we have to have this war on cash. Mm -hmm. Your movement of physical access, uh, as assets. That's right. They're going to track you by your cell phone. They're going to track you by your car. Who you are. This is relational information. Your family, your friends, your associates, your organizations, your community involvement. And then here's the broad thing, the context. Contextual data will include demographics, your politics, your religion, etc. So do you want the government tracking all of this? Do you want the surveillance state that we have? Do you want the police and the military mapping you out on a geographical basis? Because that is what this human domain analytics is about. That's what activity-based intel is about. That is what geo-intel is about. And they put all that together and they call it 
multi-intel because they're looking at everything about you. It is full spectrum, total awareness, tyranny. And let me add this. If, if this was for our safety and for our security like they like to say,